Wow, the landlord is going to... I don't know. I filled his dumpster. He's probably not going to be thrilled about it entirely. What can you do with it? You know, there's the stuff. I it's just too much for to feed the scrapyard. I couldn't possibly, me, a lot of people, I, I couldn't possibly give the scrapyard all this stuff all at once. I already tried jumping on it and compacting it. It didn't go so well. I'm, I'm trying to steer that with the weight. Gotta realize this is like several years. Layers and layers of just trash. Buckets and containers that I had once used, filling it with wire and brass and I'm not finding nearly as much stuff as I used to. <clears throat> Plus Having an adopted kid, a little three and a half year old now, and plus my original kids. Uh oh, <laughs> I, there there ain't no time for a lot of things. Let's see, I'm going to take those off the truck, though. Because I plan on going out to a... to a scrap farm type of place. What you're looking at here is just a bunch of garbage. <laughs> it's pretty much described the channel, right? I've, I've managed to successfully overwhelm the dumpster and not really uh, doesn't ever seem like I actually get something meaningful done and you got I got, I got a guy <laughs> commenting on my channel you're never going to get anywhere bro <laughs> Doing it like you're doing it. Uh, I, I I don't have the patience to be a micro scrapper. I just I just don't do it. I've I've tried so many times on this channel, and I. I end up getting the urgency to, like, I would just want to get up and go. <laughs> get up and go and do something. Get in the car and drive. This big old mat, I saved this for my daughter. She's got a... Uh, she has, like, a cellar door for our basement. And uh, her uh, boyfriend's parents gave them a tarp and it just looks so ghetto to cover the the cellar door so the water doesn't come in the basement when it rains and I was going to give them this 
rubber mat and I was going to cut it out and staple it to the edges of the they don't want it it's mostly him he doesn't want he doesn't want me near the house you know, working on it or doing anything so they can sit and spin when it comes to that stuff I'm not gonna don't, don't waste your energy fighting people on that like if they want it like that, you know, just like me when people comment on my channel. You should do it, this, you know, if somebody wants to do it their way. That's just the way they're going to do it. Okay, I, I hoarded these decorations because they were cute. <laughs> they stayed out in the rain. That was pretty much the end of that. These... These things are worth money if they're, if they're attacked, but Santa's got a big old crack right there, so. Santa got to go in the trash. Trash. More trash. I'd say I got like a couple of dumpsters worth of uh, I mean that was kind of cool when the paint wasn't peeling off you can only hoard so much stuff then you end up uh, losing track of it or tripping over it This could almost go on for eternity, right? I need like a smaller garbage can for a little bit. You're handling it twice. Yes, I am. Santa having a Barbie? What's going on here? I'm rehoarding this. <laughs> That's an Australian uh, Santa Claus. That's an accident waiting to happen, right? There's something that. I don't even know what to do with that. I literally don't know what to do with that. This, this was good, like, house paint that I found, I hoarded, got buried, and I forgot about it. So we'll have to toss that. I feel like I'm gonna like trip and fall over here, walking amongst all this. So, some of this I can tell you exactly all about it. Like that bucket or basket of lights and stuff like that. That's from when I was at the other shop and it got moved over here in like a hurry, in a hurried fashion. And it just stayed there. Gas bottle. Have no idea what to do with that. Oh, shit. It wasn't supposed to break like that. I got a little piece of glass in my hair. There's another sandy clothes that got all dry rotted. 
Looks like it's inside the shop and it's the same thing. Crashed, it's like accumulated to the point where, you know, it's getting in the way of daily activities. Keep sweeping it under the carpet and eventually the bulge in the carpet becomes so big you end up tripping over it. All right, I guess we could just stare at the garbage all day. Or not. Grab a couple more things. Oh, it'd be great if you could move your truck back here. Yeah. It ain't gonna happen. I need to exercise anyway. That's one thing I need to do is I need to walk. And I sure do. I do about three miles of walking at this place every day, which is kind of ridiculous. <clears throat> I saved that thing. I don't even know what kind of truck it goes to. I think I might scrap that. I tried scrapping that yesterday. I actually put that in the station wagon, the little Saturn, and... Uh, Ah, by the time I got to the yard, they were closed. It, here, here's another, like, dreamer thing. I was going to make this into, like, a a runabout or a go-kart or something like that, but... Yeah. Not happening. There, there's only so many... There's only so many hours and days in life... We could actually get something done because a third of your life is spent laying down sleeping wouldn't that be awesome if there was a way of like eliminating the need for sleep that would uh, <laughs> that would seriously like impact uh the work world and stuff like that because businesses certainly would take advantage of that aspect it's like, I, I can't stand one thing. What the heck is wrong with me? Uh, now I'm back uh, working on this thing here. Look at this guy. He could hardly climb a ladder. Yeah, I know. I'm 300 pounds. Anyway, that's some piece of garbage that I found on those uh, truck rails right there. And, uh, I already tested it out, and it works. Well, it did work, and now only one bulb. Why don't you just buy one? <laughs> I don't know. How much are they? Under 10 bucks? There's something wrong with the contact, apparently. I don't know, I'm sweating on the, the most minor of details when it comes to this. And that screw busted off right there. I had to cut that with the Sawzall. Maybe I'll take a hammer and, like, put an indent in there. And then try and drill a hole. This is some... It's kind of like thick steel. Now that looks a lot better. That The fact that that was broken right there, it just makes it look a little haggard. And when things are all together, it's my opinion that it'll make it easier to sell. And it was free. I had a hard time getting that plastic cover to like stick on there the right way but ooh I just noticed that one's got like a little crack in it I think we could leave that alone though the fact that it's relatively intact that's good nah that, that should be good enough for me <clears throat> alright well the flibberty gibbet mind that I am Let's uh, 
Let's get rid of more garbage here. Got that burnt, that burnt battery on the charger there. Hey, wait a minute. I think when I got in here, it, yeah, it stopped charging. I guess it's fully charged. Ooh, this thing is really warm. Hmm. That outlet gets kind of warm right there. Well, this thing is going to come in really handy and a lot of use. I got this one charged up too. So we got we got two soldiers operating here, so don't have to constantly switch out the battery. Oh, they got a big kahuna dumpster here too. There we go. Get rid of this.